Welcome back everybody. We're back with another Epcot Food and Wine Festival booth review. This time we're eating over at Japan. This is one of our favorite booths from last year. Anna and Elsa really loved it. So did I. So we're back to give it another try. We'll see, uh, we'll see how things go. So let's go take a look at the booth. We'll look at the menu and then we'll sample the food. So let's get to it. All right, so here's the menu. So basically all three of these are favorites of at least one of us last year. The teriyaki chicken bun, the frothy ramen, and the chira I don't know how you pronounce it, chirashi sushi flower pot. Enjoyed all of them in prior dining. Some of these were actually part of the Flower and Garden Festival. So we're going to go up here, we're going to order all three, and we'll see, uh, see what it's like. Okay, so you can see we've got the three dishes from the Japan booth here. We've got the salmon over here. Although I'm a little disappointed in the presentation of it. Last time we got this, the salmon was stacked in this really nice thing that made it look like a flower. And this is just kind of cut up salmon. So not quite the same dish as what we had the last time, but hopefully it'll still be good. Then you've got the teriyaki uh, bun, which hopefully will be excellent as well. And then frothy ramen, which was a surprise hit last year for us. I don't think we'd really like it, and we all really enjoyed it, especially, I think, Anna really like this or maybe it was Elsa I forget who that was Elsa. it was Elsa okay so so these are all the the items from the Japan pavilion this year so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll take our mask off we'll have some food and then we'll tell you what we thought about it just to give you a sense of how much meat is actually in the teriyaki bun this is the kind of half-eaten version of it and we didn't smash it down or anything that's just it's a lot of bread not as much meat that kind of hurts the value in my opinion, but uh, I did want to kind of show you what it looks like. So we finished up eating. Uh, a little surprising this year, so nobody really liked the frothy ramen. I didn't actually enjoy it last year, but, uh, but neither Anna or Elsa really liked it. In fact, there's almost a full cup sitting there that's uh, left over. So a bit of a disappointment. Again, I didn't really like it last year, so I didn't think I would like it this year, uh, but the girls didn't. So, you know, the finicky nature of kids, I guess. Uh, when it comes to the salmon, uh, Elsa and I loved it. It was still really good. Rice was great. The flavor of the salmon was excellent. Um, definitely would get that. I think it was only six seventy-five if I remember right. That dish is well, well worth it in my my opinion. There's definitely value there. And then the last one was the teriyaki chicken bun, and that was pretty good. I don't feel like it was as good as it was last year. Uh, that didn't prevent Anna from devouring it. She really liked it. That's probably a really kid sort of friendly dish if you want to get something here. Definitely recommend that one. Uh, Elsa was a little bit more ambivalent. She didn't dislike it, but it just wasn't her favorite. Uh, she definitely devoured the salmon and wanted more and more of the salmon. So a little disappointing on the frothy ramen, but that's okay. Um, the other dishes, excellent. And I think everything here was under $7 if I remember right. So I think there's some good value here. Decent portion sizes. Um, for what you're getting and what you're paying for, definitely recommend you stop by the Japan booth. We are big, uh, we're big fans of this uh, again, and we'll be back to try it again next year. Hope this review was helpful. If it, you found it useful, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, share it with anyone who you know who might find usefulness from it. We've, we're kind of piling up a catalog of reviews of the Food and Wine Festival, so you can see those. We'll link some up here in the cards at the end, and uh, we'll talk to you in the uh, in the next review. Thanks.